Okay, welcome everybody to the Agrarian Revolution, Opportunities in Alternative Proteins, presented by Master Investor. I'm Richard Parr, I'm the Managing Director of GFI Europe, the Good Food Institute Europe. We're a nonprofit which works to advance this entire sector. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of the partners involved in organizing today's event at Hill Dickinson, Agronomics, the Small Cap Network, and of course at Master Investor itself. We have over 1300 people registered for what promises to be an absolutely fantastic event. A few points of housekeeping before we begin. Um, I'd like to point out that we're all, of course, working from home using home-based internet connections. So please do bear with us if we suffer from any technical hiccups. Um, please do use the Zoom app to ask questions. And we're also streaming live here on the, the app of the day Clubhouse. Um, so greetings and, and hello to everyone joining us there. Uh, I'll be back later today at 5.30 to wrap things up when uh, many of us will be attending uh, a, a separate subsequent networking event uh, on a separate uh, Zoom link kindly sponsored by Hill Dickinson. We have a wonderful uh, lineup uh, of people today um, speaking uh, who you'll be uh, familiar with uh, already from the programme. Um, but to pick out just a few of the, of the, of the key participants, uh, we're particularly uh, excited to hear from um, Jim Mellon, uh, one of the UK's leading and most successful investors across a range of spaces over many years, um, and another giant of the city, um, Jeremy Collar, who's been a real pioneer in the whole field of alternative proteins over many years. Uh, we're also delighted to hear from Dr. Helena Wright, from uh, the Jeremy Collar Foundation. Um, we'll also, of course, be hearing from um, many of the most exciting companies uh, in this space uh, and a number of other um, uh, fascinating organizations. Um, before we um, jump in, I just wanted to say one thing to frame today, uh, and that is to uh, imagine, if you will, that you have a time machine. You're given the, the magic of time travel and you're given the opportunity to go back say to the mid 1970s uh, and you can go back to Silicon Valley and you know now what will, what will subsequently happen to the PC and software um, sector. Think about what things were like at that time when the, the very first Apple computer with that clunky, literally made out of wood was made or the very first iteration uh, of what was to become DOS and um, Windows, etc. cetera. Well, well, we're now at that stage in the alternative proteins and in the in the protein sector um, that things were back then for the software industry. We're right at the beginning of uh, a fundamental technical uh, revolution, uh, which will transform uh, uh, our world uh, and which also offers for those who are um, able to um, make the right plays, significant um, commercial uh, opportunities. Um, the global meat market um, in 2019 was no smaller than $1.2 trillion. So the addressable market here is absolutely um, incredible for, for savvy investors uh, and for smart entrepreneurs. But not only is there a huge commercial opportunity here, there's also an unparalleled and a massive opportunity socially to do social good um, across a range of causes from beating climate change, to preventing the next pandemic from emerging, to tackling antimicrobial resistance, to building food security, and to looking after animal welfare. So as well as the commercial opportunities, there's an enormous social opportunity. And everyone here today, everyone watching this, everyone playing their part in this sector um, is um, uh, playing their role in advancing those important social causes. Um, I think that's um, probably enough um, from, uh, from me for now.